Hi, I'm Jill Castilla, President and CEO of Citizens Bank of Edmond. I wanted to take some time to talk to you about what we're doing in regard to the COVID-19 crisis and some changes we are making to better accommodate our customers and to help our community. We are so grateful for the patience and, and um, encouragement and um, just how considerate all of you guys have been in a really difficult time for our community and our nation. Um, thank you so much for walking beside us through this challenge and we appreciate you so much. Um, and we know that there's been a lot of inconvenience with um, the lobby being closed for the last several weeks. And as customers have used our drive through we only have two tellers that are working inside our drive through and they're trying to ensure effective social distancing. And so it's really limited the amount of transactions that we can do at a, a single time. And so as a result, the lines have been quite long at our, at our drive through our team um, came together and adjusted and, and employed a, a Chick-fil-A style drive-through mentality um, where they use walkie-talkies and tool belts to try to assist you as you're going through the drive-through. But we also know that this has been quite the inconvenience and then not, not all transactions are easily done in the drive-through. And we have had appointments on Wednesdays for um, bank transactions that require more of an in-lobby experience. And we understand that that was also quite limiting. So, so starting on Monday, we started curbside banking. So on the south side of the First and Broadway building alongside First Street, we have eight parking spots there. And what you can do, how you would utilize um, curbside banking, is you can go online and on our homepage at mycitizens.bank and just click schedule an appointment. And it'll allow you to pick which banking service that you need. Um, you can also, if it's a unique service that's not listed, there's an opportunity to fill that out as another um, service. And um, you will, it will allow you the opportunity to schedule a time um, on a specific day, on a specific time, according to your schedule, um, and you can even select the banker that you would like to work with. Um, you, at that point in time, you would come to the curbside banking lane that you're assigned, assigned to, one of the eight spots. They park in the spot and our team will be available to serve you in whatever need that you have. Um, we're providing services for notarizations, for example. Um, we'll um, use that as an opportunity to exchange paperwork and utilizing um, safeguards to ensure that we don't have transmission of the virus, either from you to our team or vice versa. Um, if your transaction requires more of a lobby service, um, our team has procured restaurant style buzzers that they will provide you if there's any sort of wait um, to um, accessing the lobby. Um, the lobby will be restricted to one customer group at a time just to ensure that we don't have um, a, a increased density in our lobby and try to protect our customers and our team as well as we can as this virus is still exists in our community. Um, if you do have a way, the, the um, buzzers um, have quite the, um, the distance that, that you can take them. So um, they work all around downtown Edmond and our restaurants are primarily open and lots of seating is available outside um, or you're welcome to stay in your car until it's your turn to come in. Um, our team is working very quickly, so the wait we hope won't be very long. If you aren't able to go online to schedule an appointment, um, you're also just welcome to drive up and come into a spot at the curbside banking. Um, the sign in front of you will have a number to call, and if you'll call that number, our team will answer and they'll be able to conduct um, whatever the transaction need that you have um, at, via the curbside. Um, we do still encourage you to use our drive through for uh, regular transactions that are drive through appropriate, but if you're needing a specialized transaction, a cashier's check, a, um, you have a large money um, order, um, large um, coin deposit, need access to safe deposit box, things like that, um, the curbside should be able to work well for you. And we're hoping that this will allow us to have a, a kind of more of a soft opening of our lobby again and have increased lobby as, um, availability for you. Um, we know that um, having restriction to access to the bank um, can make it more difficult for you to access your financial assets. And we, we don't want to be a barrier to that at all. 
If you see things that we can improve upon, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. Uh, my cell phone number is 405-808-8993. If you will text me at that number, um, I'm available 24 seven. And um, I encourage you to reach out to me if you've got a way, um, a suggestion on how we can improve. If you see something that another retailer or a company is doing well and want to pass along, we would greatly appreciate your suggestions because we want to continue doing what's right by you and, and use this to elevate the service that we're providing our customers. Uh, the Paycheck Protection Program for the SBA has been something that the bank has been participating actively in. We've done about over 440 loans and our median loan amount has been just $20,000. And um, so we really have been trying to get this money from Washington, D.C. to our local community, to our small businesses, so that we can keep employment and keep our economy going through this crisis. That program is still available and this, the bank is still providing these loans um, to all Oklahoma businesses. And so if you know of someone or if you need access to these loans, we're happy to help you. If you're outside the state of Oklahoma, we're also happy to connect you with a community bank in your area that can assist you. Um, again, you're welcome to text me if you have any questions, whether you're using our bank or not. And we do wanna make sure that we can get these funds to our community. So we highly encourage you to engage with us to see if you might be eligible for them. If you have other um, liquidity needs or capital needs for your businesses, please let us know about that as well. Um, we are actively engaged with um, our delegation and pushing for um, small business relief. And when, so your, your particular circumstance would be really great for us to understand so that we can advocate for you appropriately. We also have been taking steps throughout this crisis to provide relief for our customers. Um, we have contacted all, our, all of our business um, borrowers as well as provide a letter to all our consumer borrowers um, to make them aware of deferral opportunities available for their loans. Um, we would encourage you that if you are needing any kind of relief as a result of this crisis that you uh, reach out to us either um, through email, um, call, um, and again you can always text me um, because we want to make sure that we're serving you well. Um, on the deposit side, we're also waiving overdraft fees. Uh, we did for all of April and we are continuing to do so for all of May. Um, we are also being as liberal as possible with processing um, items that cause overdrafts to ensure that you are able to have essential items available for your family and your business. We are also cashing stimulus checks for non-customers and um, those can go through our drive through um, We want to make sure um, that we, everyone gets access to the stimulus money as expeditiously as possible. It's so important for our economy and the welfare of our community. And there's no charge associated with those stimulus check caches. Um, and of course we do it for our customers already. Um, on a lighter note, um, you know, our bank has been doing a, a monthly street festival um, March through October now in our seventh season right here in downtown Edmond. We started Herd on Herd um, to revitalize downtown Edmond. We wanted coming to the bank to be an adventure that you, um, not, that you not only enjoy coming into Citizens Bank of Edmond, but you enjoy spending time around the, the district that, we, um, that has been our home for 119 years. Um, we were disappointed that we had to cancel the March and April Herd on Herd. Um, we chose to do that without any kind of requirements to do so um, because we wanted to make sure we kept our community safe. But our staff desperately miss it. Our 55 team members plan Herd on Herd every year. And um, you know, our 55 team members own this bank too. And so it's something real, really near and dear to their hearts. And so our team came together and planned a virtual Herd on Herd for this Saturday. It starts off at 7 p.m. Um, on Saturday night and we'll have two bands streaming on our Facebook page. And throughout the day on Saturday, we'll be letting you know where all the food trucks that normally participate in Herd on Herd, where they'll be parked around the metropolitan area. And we'd love for you to go and grab a bite to eat and then bring it back home and really participate in Herd on Herd with your family. I will also be noting uh, specials for different small businesses around the community that you can either online order or that you can go um, to their more restricted maybe um, um, brick and mortar or their, um, their truck that's selling items and um, we'll let you know about those as well. But we would love to see your engagement on social media. Um, you know, it's, there's opportunities to express a lot of joy during this time and, and one of my favorite things about Herd on Herd is seeing the young um, people dancing 
dancing in front of the stage. And so if you wouldn't mind taking videos of what you and your family are doing to enjoy the great music of Carter Sampson and Stephen Salawan, we would love to see it. So um, more information to come on that, but um, go to the Herd on Herd Facebook page and like it and then follow it. And then we'll be live streaming on that page on Saturday at seven o'clock. Uh, finally, I wanted to reiterate that our bank is here to stay. We have been at this location right here for 119 years, and you know, I'm really grateful that I get to be the fourth generation of my family that's leading and part of the ownership of this bank. But the true magic of Citizens is that the our team owns this bank. Um, our Employee Stock Ownership Program is our largest shareholder of our bank, and this community is what built this bank. It was a group of citizens um, literally pulling their money together 119 years ago in, in April uh, 1901 to put their money together so that they had money to fund small businesses in Edmond, Oklahoma. And that grew to include all of Oklahoma City in the not too distant future from that. And we carry on that transition. The amazing community support that we we've, we've have um, through the, the decades of social capital that we've invested in this community um, through building and just doing the right thing um, over the years, over and over and over again, has created a foundation and a legacy that this team has embraced and will continue to fight for. The bank has survived booms and busts and, and everything in between, and it survived it and continued to be better and better. And we know we'll persevere through this challenge. We're walking beside our community and we're focused on doing the next right thing in every decision that we make. We truly embrace and have the mantra, if we do good, we'll do well. And if we, um, if we continue to execute that day in and day out, we know that this bank will be here for 119 more years, and that is our plan. I actually got a, um, a note in the, that I found online, and this is um, a piece of currency when our bank was a national charter that, um, that we were able to issue our own currency. And the bank had its the same name when it started in 1901, except we had a national charter and then changed that later on. But to see, a, some, say, to see an organization that now is Edmund's oldest locally owned business um, survive and maintain that same spirit as its founding so many years ago is truly a blessing to be a part of. You all, um, our community, our customers, our team are what make citizens such an extraordinary place. And please keep elevating your expectations of what we can do for you and how we can contribute. Um, if there's things that we can um, assist you with or encourage you with, or if you just need someone to talk to, feel free to give us a call. We are so, so grateful for um, this community and to be right here in Edmond, Oklahoma. Um, our hearts and prayers and thoughts are with all of you. We hope you stay safe and well um, and that your family and is unaffected by this virus. We look forward to being on the other side of this. We pray for a cure and we're just so grateful that we're walking with you um, through this, this trying time. Thank you again for all your support and encouragement. Again, if you need anything, text me at 405-808-8993. Thank you so much.